preview, you never know. And you think the 450 class had some heartbreak. Yep. Wait till you see the 250 class highlights here from Nashville. So the points leaders coming in, the West is Levi Kitchen, the 47, the 63, Cameron McAdoo in the East. Yes, they are teammates on Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki. I want to stress that because here is the start. RJ Hampshire to the early lead, but watch the two green bikes. Yeah, you thought the 250, 450 was wild. Watch McAdoo. He collides with his teammate, Levi Kitchen. And the next thing you know, McAdoo is down. I'm talking about adding insult to injury. Really nothing there that any of those riders could have done. And just a uh, unfortunate circumstance, oh. racing incident. Anstey rolls over Levi Kitchen. I couldn't believe Levi got up, remounted. I mean, I can because I know how strong and tough these guys are. But still, he had no choice, really, hey, this that guy. It was adding injury to injury because McAdoo was already hurt from practice. Yeah. He did not finish his race. Well, RJ Hampshire took off. Well, let me tell you right now, this guy was on another level. He was fast in qualifying practice earlier today, and uh, he just had it going. There's McAdoo pulling off. And by the way, when he crashed, Nate Thrasher fell right on the shoulder that McAdoo had hurt earlier in the day. You know no one is tougher than McAdoo. If he pulled off, that must have been very, very painful. You, you, you talk about heartbreaks. That was a heartbreak for McAdoo. So, Hampshire takes the win and the points lead in the 250 West region. He was down 15 points coming in. But also, let's mention Tom Vial, third in the race, and he'll take over the Eastern yeah, point lead. I like his position. What He's got a 13-point lead now with two rounds to go. Um, I like it. This guy likes it. See Joe Shimoda second, but Hampshire did what he had to do. He won. That's right. And you see how happy he is. He couldn't control what happened to yeah. Kitchen. The points just worked themselves out. Shout out to Kitchen, though, because we did not even think he would get up. As you said, he had to. Yeah. He did, and he scratched and clawed his way forward. We will show you that from the results in a moment. Vial on the podium, as mentioned. Smith outduel small down the stretch. Good racer, fourth and fifth. Deegan had a bad start yeah. and ended up sixth. Uh, he didn't help his championship nope. hopes there. No. That's for sure. Uh, great job by Bo Mare to come back from yep. the last chance qualifier as well. And there you see Kitchen. He perseveres. He was in 22nd at one point. He gets back to 14th. And this is how it affects the West standings. Yeah. Two points now between Hampshire and Kitchen. But at one point, it was nine. Yeah. So Kitchen was able to get some points back late in the race. Yeah. Jordan Smith's not out of it. Two more races uh, for this West division. Uh, Denver, and then of course the showdown again in Salt Lake City. So uh, it's basically winner take all for these two guys. And we'll show you the East points now. Deegan was down 13 to McAdoo coming in. He's now down 13 to Vial. So Vial in a great position with two to go. Yeah, I like Vial's position. He's a uh, MXGP champion, MX2 division. He knows how to win championships. I don't feel like he's riding out of his zone. He can make it through next weekend in Philadelphia and just go into the Salt Lake City round with a little bit of insurance, not to be in a must situation to where you have to win. I like him for the championship.